Now, last time, I brought up the concept of collapsing time, which is a way of referring to covering a great deal of ground, say, move, moving from point to point, in less time than is physically possible. Now, how many times have you been late someplace? And you were on foot, and you were running, 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 and oh, sorry, I'm late. And you're exhausted, and maybe a bit disheveled. Or worse yet, in a car, driving fast, 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 faster, oh, oh, oh. Red light flashing in the back, uh, there, or maybe blue light, eh? And, uh, and then you're really late. Wouldn't it be convenient if you were driving someplace and somebody else could be driving. It doesn't make any difference if you're on a bus, in a car, in a train, in a plane. Because collapsing time is less to do with time itself at this stage of the training than in the circumstances that have to do with your being late. Now, wouldn't it be nice if you could get from point A, whatever that is, to point B in uh, just a few minutes. You looked at your watch, it's 11.30 and I've got to be there at noon. It's not possible. It's 100 miles. I've got to drive through traffic. At first, you're kind of hitting the panic button. What shall I do? What shall I do? And and then you remember what old grandfather was talking about. Is this what grandfather was talking about when he referred to collapsing time? I wonder, is it possible? I'm going to tell you that it's not only possible, it can be done. So, what to do and how to do it. Details now. Remember before, we were speaking about pulling on something using the muscles of your solar plexus. And so there you are, in the car, in the bus, on the train, in the plane, wherever, on foot, on your bicycle. And you relax for a moment. You say, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is what grandfather was talking about. Now, what do I do? Now, if you're on a bicycle or you're driving, you have to pay attention to that, so you might have to pull over to the curb or to the side of the road for a moment. But perhaps you will be in a vehicle with somebody else who's manning the controls. Then this is what you do. You create that imaginary rope or cord between your solar plexus area and the place you are going. And you very gradually, you pull using the muscles of your solar plexus. You contract your muscles, as they say, and it pulls very slightly in. All right? Now, this isn't like taking a breath and going, and then it pulls in. Don't do that. You can breathe normally. You actually make the effort to pull those muscles in just slightly. Okay, it's not going to go in that far. But you pull from your solar plexus on that cord that you have imagined connecting you to that place or a circumstance or a meeting or a person that you're going to. You just pull like that. Okay? You may not be able to see this, but you pull. And you do that once, maybe twice, no more than that. And then you just go on. You'll get there when you get there. That's all. For those of you who want to say a prayer, you can say, I'm asking that uh, I be arriving at just the best time for my engagement with, then you fill it in, uh, 
people, place, thing like that. And that that arrival by me be just perfect for all beings. And that's that. Remember when you say these things, say them out loud. If there's other people nearby, whisper. If you're concerned that they'll see your lips moving, it's all right to do this. All right? This will help you to move through the veils of time. Don't do it just for fun. Do it only at those times when you actually are late or circumstances have occurred so that you would be late. It's important to have a genuine urgency so you can't stage it either. But you can do the practice and the training as I've laid out. This will help. Don't get on your case if you uh, forget and don't do it. You'll do it another time. At some point it will help. As always, one thing builds on the other. And the more you hear these videos, or even read the books, the Shamanic Secrets books, for example, then the more you will learn and the more you can connect this with this or this with this and do more. I'm not trying to turn you into something you're not. I'm simply attempting to reveal your own capabilities to you in a slow, gentle way. Good life.